Hi, I'm Trent Reznor, composer, Bones and All. Hi, I'm Atticus Ross, the other composer on Bones and All. When we first spoke with Luca, um, he described that he was, he was filming this in an understated way on film, that the Midwest was going to be a character in the film, that he wanted the music to be a character in the film. Um, he didn't want the music to overpower the film, and that most importantly, this was a, a great romance and, and a tragic love story first and foremost and he also mentioned maybe something like an acoustic guitar maybe could provide a beautiful melody that reveals itself over the course of their love and that was plenty of seeds of information for us to um, start to work and that's before he'd ever picked up a camera before filming even started so we started working on these themes very early on just to see what might resonate with him or how how we could start to build this into a tangible place and sound jump ahead to seeing that first cut after filming was completed very long cut we were so overwhelmed with what what the story had become and, and the emotional resonance of it. We, we knew exactly what we needed to do to properly score the rest of the film and, and then flesh it out. And it was um, it's just a very rewarding experience with unexpected emotional kind of um, resonance to it. You know, we really felt um, connected to the characters, the loneliness of the characters, the desperation of the characters, the beautiful finding of each other, and it, was just, it really struck a chord with us, and it was, it was a real pleasure to be involved in this project. We've always been big fans of Lucas, and we got wind that Lucas was working on this film and was interested in us as composers, and said, yes, of course, let's please have that meeting. And we, we had not met Luca before this, and of course it was on Zoom because of the pandemic, but we met somebody that we immediately felt a connection to that um, was approaching this material with a very interesting take. And knowing what he's capable of, we were intrigued to see where he would take this material and how he would infuse his vision into this story. And we were not disappointed. You know, th this was truly one of the most interesting and inspiring projects we've worked on and the experience has been unmatched. Well, the balance between the romance and the horror, um, I'm taking a second because they, they interweave in a way that's incredibly unexpected and simultaneously incredibly important to the story. Um, our focus was the tragic love story. And I think when we say tragic love story, um, it's, that's an, oversimplific an oversimplification of what the film embodies. Because I think through these interviews today, I've been thinking, I, I think that there are the, these universal themes that we all experience as human beings that are encapsulated in this movie. And maybe that's part of why we were so connected to the characters and felt such a responsibility um, in terms of the score. The acoustic guitar can be a beautiful instrument and it can also be an ugly one placed in the right landscape. That, that was really the glue. So even the more horrific scenes, like Sully's theme, it's rooted in an acoustic guitar that becomes swamped with perversion and menace. Um, 
The kind of ending scene, which is possibly the most horrific, we'd been so involved with the film by the time that we did that, that it's actually one performance of us improvising over maybe an hour or so, um, knowing what the picture was, but closing that off and just getting lost, not to sound ridiculous, but getting lost in the music. And then editing that into what, what that final scene leading into the song. But, that, but it truly is one performance. Our initial reaction to the script was um, interested, but it was seeing how Luca had transformed that script on the first cut that we received that really um, I can't overstate what a what an experience the first viewing of Bones and All. It was a multi-hour cut, no music at all apart from um, the needle drops, and um, it was the start of a journey for us um, where we became incredibly invested in this project and without sounding corny, fell in love with the characters and the collaboration with Luca.